Hey, this is Dean from Wise Buys, guys. And always popping in for a cameo, my camping partner, Sadie. Uh, so today we're going to talk about <clears throat> the Hulkman Alpha 100. It's actually 10.0, but in some points, they just got ripped, dropped the dot and it's 100. So if you Google it, it's the Alpha Hulkman 100. A um, lot of... There's a lot of testosterone names going on there. Hulkman, 100. Pretty tough sounding. Anyway, uh, so this thing is pretty bulky. They have a, a, a few different ones. They have the 65, the 85. I don't know if they have anything bigger than this. Uh, so I have this one. So uh, one, what do you use it for? Uh, use it to mostly as a jump starter. I was fortunate when I got this. I don't know if fortunate is the right word. Well, for me, I was. Um, there was two cars. Uh, in about two weeks um, that had a dead battery that I happened to be around and jump. And so uh, one, it was my son and he was close by. And then the neighbor's car was in the garage for probably a year or so. The lady lived there. Uh, she went to a re uh, assisted living and everything just sat there for quite a while. So when family came, uh, they asked me if I had jump start. So jump, jumper cables. So I brought this thing over um, and it worked full time. So right there do you want one of these things yes why not it's so much nicer than jumper cables right when i did it um for the lady's car in the garage there was no place to pull aside we would have had to push the thing out into the driveway um one this was summertime arizona so it was you know probably 110 like literally 110 um and then you would have push it out and pull the other car up but this thing you just walk over you know, pop the hood and place it and, you know, you turn it on, follow the instructions and jump it. And they do have a super jump mode, which um, I haven't had to use yet. Um, so it's worked twice and it's great. It works well. Um, there's a couple things about it that are um, that I like quite a bit is when you charge it, it has this rapid charge and this thing charges quick and it seems to hold the charge. So I keep it in my little trunk area of the Jeep. So it's like out of the sun, but it's still so hot in Arizona. So I check it every, you know, couple months just to make sure it's charged because I don't want to grab it and it's, you know, dead. Um, and I don't think it's ever been below 80% and then I charge it and it charges up real quick. Um, so that's real nice and it works well. It has uh, several different um, lights that you can use. And uh, hopefully I don't have to use them, but it's nice. It also has uh, a bunch of charging ports that you can use. So this proprietary one um, on the one side is where you charge it. Um, and I, I'm sorry, where you put in the jumper cables, which comes with it in, in the box. Um, and then there's a USB-C and two USB 3.0s. And so that's the part that gets into where I'm a little iffy on it. And the reason is that I'm a little disappointed in that is uh, you can use it to charge devices, right? And so I don't want to drain it down when I have, uh, when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, like now, because I want to use it in case I need it for something. But um, supposedly you can still jump a car when this is at, you know, 25%. And it's, uh, by the way, it's good for up to 10 liters of uh, regular gasoline or diesel engines, which is, you know, pretty big. This is a, a two liter turbo. So uh, you can see how much room to expand you have on there. Um, so there's a lot to it, but however, when I used it to charge my devices, um, at first I plugged my phone in and it was charging and I can actually watch it go down. Like I just happened to look away and it went from 98 to 97. I'm like, oh, that might've been just cause I plugged it in whatever. So I walk away, come back and it was, you know, 96 and I'm just looking at it. Then it was 95 to 94. So I look at my phone and it's not like my phone was charging like that. Uh, besides, it shouldn't be a one-to-one -one ratio because this battery is, you know, massive. So I stopped it at 93 because I'm like, it's ridiculous. We're going to drain my battery to get my phone charged 1%. So I was like, maybe you had something to do with the phone. So I had a little battery pack that I used for my phone. So I plugged that in to test that. And it was the same thing. And so uh, I did not use it to charge any devices because i um, kind of concerned that um, it would uh, deplete it without even charging the other devices. Uh, what I haven't done with that, what I need to do is to test it at home and let it run dry, see if it actually, you know, drains or maybe there's some kind of equilibrium equilibrium, and it drops down a certain bit and then kind of, 
you know, levels off. Anyway, so that part was kind of bothersome because it is such a, this is the, you know, the 10.0, the 100, um, that it is pretty nice to have that and the big one to be able to charge stuff and have plenty of juice to jump uh, the car a couple times if you if you need to. So it's raining was really kind of disheartening. So that's, you know, it's kind of a bummer. So uh, another thing that uh, this thing kind of takes a hit for me is uh, the box is great, um, but it doesn't come with a case. So you have to have the box with you. And it's one of those boxes that are uh, sort of in the realm of like, uh, you know, uh, uh, a high-end phone where they put a lot of effort into the presentation of the box. So anyway, there's a lot of wasted space in there. So that thing's twice the size, that box is twice the size it needs to be. Uh, so the, the ranges of uh, these things from the 65 to the 85 to the 100 um, is pretty great and they get pretty expensive. So to not include a case um, is pretty bothersome. It's something that, you know, I'm like, I don't want to spend money because they, of course, sell a case. So you can spend another, I'm not sure what it is, 30, 40 bucks on a case. Um, just kind of just doesn't sit well with me. It's like, it's an expensive item, um, put a case with it. That should be a no brainer. So in the box, you have loose, um, the clamps for the, you know, that connect to this, that are in essence, the jumper cables. You have the charger that you plug into the wall and plug into this thing. So it charges and then there's another cable in there. Um, and they're kind of loose so a case would be ideal and doesn't come with one so overall having one of these is great at what point do you go down um the 65 i think you know like i, I joke that it's 10.0 and they call it 100 the other one is uh 85 which i think is 8.5 8 liter engine up to an 8.5 liter engine and the other one is 6.5 up to a 6.5 liter engine um i have this one because i want to have one that it has extra power and I spent the extra money for it because it's one of those peace of mind things. Um, but if it doesn't, I also wanted to use it to charge some devices. But if that's not the case, I probably would have went with the less expensive one, which probably half the cost. Um, if I'm not going to use it to charge devices, which at this point, unless I'm wrong about something, um, I'm not going to charge devices. Anyway, so these things in concept are great. Um, it seems to be uh, pretty good. Uh, I do want to uh, give kudos to the company. Uh, the first one that I got, it didn't work. And I emailed them and they responded, a real person, right back asking me four or five questions and let me know as they're asking me these questions, they didn't care what the outcome of the conversation was. They were already preparing to mail me one out. Um, so that was phenomenal. So I, I answered the questions. We went back and forth on a few things over like three or four days. Meanwhile, I already received now the new one. And it turns out, I can't prove it, that it was most likely uh, me. And so when I did use it two other times and it worked, and then from corresponding with the company, um, the teeth on the clamps, they're not as sharp as the teeth on the uh, jumper cables you'd you know buy it like you know home depot or ace hardware or something like that um they just weren't that sharp so i then from my car conversation with tech support um and then when i did it i just put them on and scraped a little bit uh to make sure i, I had a, a bite below any dirt or grease that would be you know on the on the the, the clamps on top of the uh, on the post i mean on the battery and so it worked fine so um i suspect that's what it was anyway the company didn't care, didn't go back and forth with me. They made sure they sent me one out immediately as we tried to, as they tried to figure out the problem was. So I got to give them a real kudos for that. Anyway, all these pros and cons, I'm going to give it a four because um, it does jump cars successfully. I've done two. Uh, the battery seems to hold when it's in the car for a while. When I did jump the car, the amount that it went down from 100% uh, was just... Um, less than 10%. Um, so that was that was all great. It does what it's gonna do. The thing that takes away a little bit from it is the fact that I can't charge other devices. I can technically, but it was draining the battery so quick, I, I won't do it. So I give this thing a four stars and no matter which level you get, it is something I would consider and recommend having in your car. Uh, thanks, this is Dean from Wise Guys.